Yo, what's up, YouTube? Jay Traveling here. And again, we're here to talk about Flux, but this time we're not talking about mining rigs. We're going to be talking about my nodes. Now, they are right here on top of my grow tent. I have currently two of them running, uh, and they're both Cumulus nodes. So we'll get inside the computer here, and I'll show you guys it in Zellcore and show you guys the payouts and the profit that I expect to earn just on these two nodes. Here we are inside the computer, and this is the dashboard on Zellcor for my Flux nodes. I have currently two running, planning on more. This is my last reward. I did keep shutting it off and turning it back on to get the set up for two, so that's why it says month, last month. Um, and you can see my rank of 704, so I expect a payout probably in the next day. Uh, I have in the spreadsheet behind it, which we will get to, and I'm sorry about all the blurred out stuff. I just don't want to give away all of my info for my stuff, but rank starts out roughly in just over a thousand, about 1100. Uh, and then it goes down all the way to rank. Once you hit one to zero, that's when you get the payout for your node. Now, both of my nodes are pretty much started at the same time. So they're both within a few positions in rank 1704, 1706. But these are the numbers that I'm using inside my spreadsheet here for my calculation for how much revenue and profit this will make over a month's time. Now it's broken down into both of them and you can see node three here because I do have one on order and I do have enough flux once this pays out to run a third node. So let's go into the spreadsheet and I'll talk you through it and how I calculated it and I, I think it is pretty accurate uh, as far as what it is trading for today. So let's go look at it. So I did do this spreadsheet so that you change these numbers over here and it pretty much calculates it for you. So if flux were to go up to let's say like 90 cents, it'll change my, my calculations, but we're at 81 cents uh, for flux at the time of making this video. That is a, what it's roughly trading for. So the nodes I run, run at 10 watts at the wall. I did meter it and it, sometimes it's a little lower, but I did 10 watts because that was the peak of what it runs. Now the daily cost at 15 cents per kilowatt hour will be about four cents a day to run these nodes. Now the days I calculated roughly, and this is where it, it becomes a little, a little rough in is I put 11 days per payout. And these are the numbers that I took right off the dashboard that I showed you inside of it. Now the token exchange. Now this is where some people may get confused. The flux token, when you pay it out, it accumulates in the fusion app on Zellcore. And that's where you will pay it out. And that's where the exchange rate comes in. Now that's, it can range anywhere from two to five, depending on which token you want it to pay you out in. Uh, to my understanding, I haven't taken any flux token out yet because of the fees. I don't need them. So I'm going to let them accumulate. So I only have to pay that fee one time when I do, uh, you know, take them out or have it exchanged to go into my wallet. Now, for the purpose of this video, though, I'm going to have two as the exchange rate, uh, the flux price, which is over here, my electric cost. So if it were to go up, it'll calculate that. The payouts don't seem to change too much. The only thing that may change is the payout times, but I can just change it here and it will change my calculations. So I came out with uh, the flux token revenue and the flux revenue. So it's just these numbers times by this, which is what it's going for. And then this minus this times by this is how I get the token revenue, you can see my formula up here. And then the total revenue is just adding them together. Now my profit is where I calculated this out to what I would spend in the 11 days time to pretty much get this number. And then the total is just these two numbers added up. Now the monthly profit has a pretty significant uh, calculation here. Now this is pretty much this number broken down to a daily number and then multiplied by 30. Now I did choose 30 and not 32 because most months I would say would have a 30 or 31 days. So just for the purpose of this video, I just did a 30 day month. Now I'm looking at a profit of $31 and 25 cents 
on both of these nodes per month. Now this is if they are ran without interruption. If they get interrupted for more than 45 minutes, I believe, and you can't get it back online, you pretty much lose out. So if you're on the 10th day, you're, you're waiting to get that payout the next day and your flux node goes offline and you can't get it up quick enough, you lose out on those like 10 days. So that's pretty much why I went with these really low cost ones. I had an Octoplex PC, which I didn't end up running my node on and I don't plan on using it for a node just because it runs a little more power and I'd be looking at like more like 10, 15 cents a day to run it instead of the four. I do have a Dell Optiplex mini PC that's supposedly gonna run about 20 watts. So it's gonna be about eight cents a day to run. Now, if you have bad electric running nodes at your house, uninterrupted may be hard to do, or if you have really bad internet, it would probably be hard to do it. If you have solid internet, solid power grid, you don't really lose power that often. You can definitely run these at home uh, if you have the bandwidth speeds and make a decent profit. Now, the Chewy PCs I do use run about $170 each. So if we got the calculator out and I was saying like 170 divided by 31, I'm looking at like a five month time, five and a half month time to pay off those mini PCs. Now I do plan on running these for a lot longer than the five and a half months, but I mean, that's a, a pretty long ROI on a Chewy PC in my opinion, but it's definitely profiting and not losing money like all of my GPUs. So I, I definitely think it's worth running them and I plan on running more. You can run up to eight nodes on one uh, home network. So I plan on running as many as I can, but also keep in mind the thousand flux that you do need to pretty much stake in order to run that node. But I don't plan on selling my flux, so it's not a big deal to me. It's just pretty much accumulating more flux for myself. If I ever need to sell it, I can always take a node offline and get that thousand flux back to do whatever I need to do with. But really, you shouldn't be needing to cash out flux to pay electric costs at this low of a rate. If you do, then you probably shouldn't be running nodes because they are fairly inexpensive to run. I could probably find four cents in my couch cushion every day to pay for these things. So. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a rough estimate of what I expect to earn profit-wise on both of my Flux nodes per month. But thanks for checking this video out. Uh, let me know if you guys are running nodes, what you use, how many watts you guys are using to run your nodes, uh, what PCs or mini PCs you guys are using, which ones I could possibly check out to purchase to run another node since I do run plan on running multiple. Uh, I don't mind spending a little bit of money to get different mini PCs. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.